Well, um, I'm going to submit a project pitch to Code for San Francisco, I think. Yeah, Code for San Francisco. Um, maybe I'll return. Who knows? They do have nice pizza. I like their pizza, their free pizza, if they still do that. Uh, so, just kind of recording this. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to react. Um, submit a project pitch for the HOPE project. Um, email. Solve poverty and politics by design, development, and promotion of a smart price tag for consumer retail sales that will be used by retailers and poor one and wonderful people for saving money or making a profit. Google the HOPE project to find out more. Who will benefit from your project? One to three sentences. Poor and deserving and wonderful people in the USA will benefit from an additional $3.5 trillion in price discounts and reductions. Sellers in the USA will benefit from $2 trillion in additional profit, mostly from people who receive little or no price discounts and are not poor or deserving or wonderful. Your project, check all that apply, open source, volunteer driven, not for profit, serves a civic need. How far have you developed the project? Have an idea, done some research, made a project plan, I've started working on the project, I've made a prototype, first draft, or alpha version, others, I've shared the project globally, and promoted, promoted attribution, free reproduction, and parallel projects. Are you working with anyone else? Just uh, other, I do not who know who is working with me on this. More than two, less than one, 1,000 in my opinion. Um, what do you think your project needs next? Discuss my idea with other people, user research, other background research data. Uh, I checked them all. This project needs much more of these things. It's going to solve party and make trillion dollars profit someday. Anything else you want to know? This project contemplates economic and political nonviolent revolution and advances AI singularity research. There are parts of the project dedicated to analysis and acceptance and designing solutions for fictional problems such as economic collapse or very large scale natural disasters or existence of God and other formidable forces driving economics. Submit. I'm going to copy all this first. <laughs> You bet I am. Because they're not going to give me a copy. Is my bet. And I'll put it in. Uh, hope Reach Out Highlights. <laughs> Which is a very long document and takes a while to load, like most of my documents. Let's just paste that in here. And let's get the URL. I can't really do that. All right, I'll just click Submit now then. And maybe I can get the URL later. And I can do this. If it works, probably doesn't work. It's probably like one of those limited time only. If we submit another response, then I guess the URL is here. All right, let's see if they want me back. <clears throat> Oh, look, they deleted all my answers when I copied and pasted. Or else they designed it so I wouldn't have a copy of what I wrote. Assholes? Or maybe just... Uh, they're probably just normal people. I don't know. I guess that makes it easier for them to delete comments or things like that. Censorship? Yeah.
So if they were smart, what they would have done? No, not if they were smart. If they were honest and interested in the public, they would not silo or privatize the information at this point. They would offer the option to make it public or at least give me a receipt of what I wrote myself. It's like, I don't know. They're just kind of trying to harvest information. They are not returning anything to me with this form. Bad design. Well, end of recording.